and action. Hi! Welcome family, friends, <laughs> to my channel. <laughs> Today, I'm going to make my beautiful mom's pumpkin cookies. <laughs> Are you going to use the video? No. Why not? Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. You will? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new recipe for you all. This is my mom's recipe for pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. These are so yummy with the pumpkin and the chocolate. They're really moist and just delicious. And they make the perfect fall treat. This video is also a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Katie Satilli. She's going to be making a DIY pumpkin spice latte, which I think would go perfectly with some of these cookies. So after you watch this video, make sure you head over to her channel. It will be linked down in the description box below. And I also have a special guest star with me today. I convinced my mom to come and join me in this video. So she is going to be my Vanna and help me with this because it is her own recipe. So Which I got off the Libby's can. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's not on there anymore, right? <laughs> All this time, I thought it was an original recipe. <laughs> now she tells me it's from a can. Okay, so first off, you're going to need two cups of flour, one cup of oats, do you want me to just point since I know what I'm doing? Okay. One cup of oats, one cup of raw sugar, and one cup of brown sugar, one cup of pumpkin puree, one cup of softened butter, a teaspoon of baking soda, vanilla, cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of salt, and one egg. Oh yeah, and chocolate chips, you cannot forget those. These are actually the Guitar Extra Dark Baking Chocolate Chips. Guitar is just a really good quality chocolate brand. It tastes really yummy and the dark chocolate chips just add kind of a yummy flavor. You can um, use milk chocolate. Or yes, you can use whatever chocolate chips you want, but we like these. So, why don't we start with the creaming the butter and sugar? Mom, I'm out of vanilla. Oh! <laughs> hey, you're supposed to use vanilla, but we're out of vanilla. <laughs> so we're using it. <laughs> Who asked you to be in this video? <laughs> the first thing you guys want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So that's what we've already done. And what we're going to do now is cream the butters and the sugars. So why don't you pour those into the mixer? And I put the brown sugar and the raw sugar together because it wouldn't fit here on my little cutting board. Um, but anyways, you this is like the most important step in making cookies. You want to make sure that the butter and sugar is really well creamed because it just makes cookies. I don't know exactly what it does, but it just makes cookies better. Okay. I'm gonna... Okay. butter and sugars are nice and fluffy. The next step is adding the egg and our fake vanilla because my mom exposed me. <laughs> NHL. NHL, yeah. I thought that after cooking this many years, my mom wouldn't get eggshells in the cookie dough, but apparently it's still a problem. Okay, so are we ready for the next ingredient? Yes. Okay, and this is where you should mix all the dry ingredients together, but I am a very lazy baker, so I just put them in at the same time. <laughs> so we're going to just pour in the two cups of unbromated flour. My mom's always been a health nut, and so we are using white flour, but apparently unbromated flour is better for you. Right, Mom? Yes. Oh, and the oats. We forgot. One cup of oats. I'm just using this stand mixer for time's sake for this video, but I've done it in a bowl before, so if you don't have a Bosch mixer or a KitchenAid, just feel free to use a bowl and a wooden spoon. You'll just have to put in a little bit of elbow grease. So the last thing we're going to add is one cup of canned pumpkin. Okay, and last 
but the most important part, we're gonna add one cup or more of chocolate chips. And these are open because I'm pregnant and I got hungry before this video. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Probably put like half the bag. Mm -hmm. This really, yeah. oh, that was a lot more than that. Yeah. Um, and these chocolate chips really make these cookies it's so yummy. You ready? Yeah. So now I just have a cookie sheet lined with a silicone mat and we have a small cookie scoop. Do you want to show them that? <laughs> Um, and then I'm just going to put 12 of these on each cookie sheet. And usually I use two baking sheets just to make the process go a little faster. We always make these really huge too because they're called great pumpkin cookies. And you can also make them fun shapes, that like the shape of a pumpkin with a stem and use the chocolate chips to make eyes and a smile, so it's like a jack-o'-lantern. Um, but that's what we used to do. Yeah, we used to do that and we loved it as kids. But yeah, we usually make them really big, but I really like this size right now. That way if I eat two or three, it's not as bad. <laughs> I mean, they're this small. So if you make the very large size of cookies, you're gonna bake them for 20 to 25 minutes, but because these are much smaller, I'm gonna be baking them for 15 to 20 minutes. Because of the pumpkin color, they won't really brown. You'll just know they're done because they'll lose that shine. And then right then is when you want to pull them out of the oven. So once they're done, you want to let them cool on the baking sheet for about two minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack and let them cool completely. You want a cookie? So here... <laughs> Someone wants a cookie. So here are all of our pumpkin cookies. And I think we're just going to taste one now. You want one? Yeah. Uh, take one. What? Oh, not that one? How about this one? No, you need to have that one. Here, you have this one. Yay. Yay. Let's all taste it now. One, two. Mmm. Do you like it? Is it yummy? Nope. <laughs> well, I think they're really good. Mm -hmm. They're super moist and really pumpkin-y. They're perfect for fall. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed having my mom here. Don't forget to head over to Katie Satili's channel and learn how to bake a pumpkin spice latte. I know it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Hope you guys are all having a happy fall and we'll see you very soon. Bye! Bye! Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye! Bye! bye. 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 <laughs> He's got chocolate chip. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.